everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new hi if you don't know who i am i am mand so if you aren't really sure what we cover here on the channel i do deck walkthroughs reviews um tarot and oracle cover spirituality i also cover books and crystals so if that's your jam and you like like chit chat videos this is the place for you we'd love to have you here hit the subscribe button i would greatly appreciate it also hit the like if this is kind of your style of videos and also hit the bell so you know when i upload so today you probably can tell by the title um is um <laughs> is there sometimes the way i have this set up is things that i bought this march and i don't normally do these but march was kind of one of these months that i may have indulged a little bit a little bit too much um but i i have a reason for that because my birthday was in february um i turned 30 so it was a big birthday and i was so kindly treated to a weekend away um in the last weekend of march so we went to galway and there was a couple of shops that i popped into and i was fortunate enough to be able to pick up some bits so i treated myself and who doesn't love a wee treat so i just wanted to show you some of the bits that i picked up um because i love watching these kind of videos they're probably old school but look we'll bring it back old school <laughs> just for today let's be nostalgic and whatnot so there is no particular order in what way i got these um i'm trying to think i can't really remember one was gifted all right one deck here was gifted um but i'll show these two decks first again it's no particular particular order um i'll hopefully remember to put timestamps so you guys can skip ahead so the first thing i picked up was the Ghost and Spirits Tarot by Lisa Hunt. As you can see, it is from Kenny's bookstore. Um, it's kenny's.ie if you are wanting to buy it. I think everybody has seen this. Um, I might do a walkthrough of it. I haven't quite decided. I am going to open it after this video and have a look. Um, so it was 26 euros. It was down to 21. I was like, I'm going to treat myself. So I picked up this deck. And there are three decks here that are still wrapped. I'm going to open them, but I want to open them. Um, these two, the next one that I'm going to show you kind of off camera, enjoy it for myself. And I might do a walkthrough then. Um, it won't be like a first reaction, but another one will be. Um, so the next one I got is The Blessed Bee by Lucy Cavendish. I don't have any of her decks. I have this on my wish list, had this on my wish list for like the longest of times. And... This is the back. Um, yeah, the price is there. I did. I I'll be honest. Yes, you can you can get this cheaper, um, online. There is no doubt you could get probably this off Amazon or someplace else a bit cheaper. I paid thirty five euros, which is more than I normally would pay for Oracle decks. But this little holistic shop was like in the middle of the. Corbett shopping center in Galway so if you're in Galway check them out they're called Healing Art they don't have an online website but they are the sweetest ladies ever honestly they're so cute I think there's two girls that work there they're adorable she was so kind she was so generous I had hoped to pop in the next day but we just had other bits that we wanted to do so I picked up this I think everybody's seen this um I feel like this will pair beautifully as well with my green witch tarot and my pastoral tarot. So I'm excited to get into this one. I also picked up the Moonology uh, manifestation. This, I swear, uh, there's just an overload of decks at the moment that I'm after picking up. I'm like, I need I need to calm it down. But I've seen this in one shop that we had gone to. We had gone to Cork there a couple of weeks ago. I think it was around the start of March. And this was only like 15 euros, which in a shop is like really, really cheap, you know. Um, they're the backs. It's stunning. It's gorgeous. I think I did. Yes, I did. No, I know. I did a side by side of the two Moonologies. I really like them. I have no regrets on picking this one up. None whatsoever. Why won't this close now? Oh my gosh. 
um i'm delighted i did i took the plunge and i picked this deck up because this is going to be great for my manifesting um which i'm getting back into i definitely will make a video um another day on like what i'm doing for manifestation and how i'm working with that and what not so this literally came in the post today so it couldn't excuse me couldn't have come at a better time and keep your eyes peeled because there will be a walkthrough this video will actually probably be up a week later but anyway um it's the grimalkin tarot oh, by mj do you say cullinan um or cullinan i think a lot of you say cullinan um but here see i've said this several times here in ireland we call it cullinan um again i don't want to butcher her name but oh I was so excited. I nearly forgot to order this because I ordered it off Book Depository. And for some reason, I don't know why it is, I have to pre-order these before um, because once they come out, they come off the website. I don't know what's the story. That's all you're seeing of this because I'm going to do a walkthrough of that deck. And I can't wait. I'm excited. It'll be my first impression. For those of you that don't know, I have two cats. I have two dogs and I have a guinea pig. But I like i love cats i don't have many decks that are like this so i definitely wanted something different i have her two other two other decks by her which is the guardian of the night and the urban crow oracle i don't have her crow tarot yet yet we might have it by the end of the year who knows and the last deck is it's actually an indie deck i don't know is it in print it was out of stock the last time i checked um I don't know who shared it on Instagram and I was like I need I need this deck and it was so funny because myself and Jamie who if you don't know is my partner um we were just watching these movies there like in February and when I seen this I was like I have to this is the wizard's tarot I will do a walkthrough of this it's all Harry Potter you know what uh, I'll, I'll give you a sneak peek because I, I'll be honest I totally looked I couldn't not um, there's no guidebook with this, so just to give you a quick sneak peek, okay? Like, <laughs> stop. I was in awe. I may have stayed too long staring at this, but I have no regrets. No regrets. But my mom gifted this to me. It took a while to get here, but I have no regrets. Um, if you're in Ireland, I do want you to be aware that if you order this, because it comes from the UK, and the UK isn't part of Ireland anymore, you will get caught with customs. You might get lucky and you might not, but I got cost caught with customs, so just be aware of that. And I also got two new crystals, which for me is very good. A, um, that's not to say there isn't other online sites that I'm looking at that I have like a ball of crystals in. But I was in Rocky Road Minerals. They're in the Corbett Shopping Centre as well. You can check them out online. They have such a massive range of crystals. It's where I get majority of my crystals from. They're so um, high quality. I think they ship all over the world. So it doesn't matter where you are in the world. Go check them out. They're really affordable and they're ethically sourced as well. And Monica and her gang are just gems. So, um, the first one I picked up is a quartz. Now, this is such a clear, clear quartz. Now, I was fortunate because there was a 20% discount um, sale on. But this has a slight aura to it. It's not aura quartz. I want to say it's like, they had a name. Is it sulfate quartz or something like that? But anyway, I seen it i loved it i love this banding here um for those of you that don't know crystals or maybe aren't into it um quartz is like the master healer it's a um it's a crystal that you can use in a placement for anything so let's say if you have a spell book and it says to use rose quartz and you don't have any rose quartz but you only have clear quartz you can use this it's great it's an amazing crystal I highly recommend and the next one and I've always wanted to get a bigger piece of this it looks it looks very black actually on camera is soda light this is a very deep blue it's it's not a black crystal it's very deep blue and 
it has lovely banding in it and sodalite is great for working with your throat chakra so like speaking your truth or speaking clearly communicating clearly um which is something i want to get better at so you know maybe when i'm doing these videos i might just hold this because sometimes i go off and it's you know it helps you stay focused so it's really helping with that throat chakra which I love crystals that work well they all work with your chakras and they have different properties and stuff like that but that's just a rough a rough um, explanation as to what this crystal is so there are two crystals I picked up I also um, picked up some Palo Santo as well um, and that's it for like the holistic -y bits and pieces so let's get into the books I bought I have four new books here I am sickened because I um, unfortunately stained the side on one of mine because I cut um, my aloe vera plant one of the stalks was um, rotten and I accidentally put it near my book and it stained yeah I know it's a weird color now but anyway listen it is what it is so it's in the works of course I like live in the works at this stage um you know if you want to sponsor me no I'm gonna mess them. but seriously I love it the, the books are so affordable they do great deals and things like that I actually picked up you know yeah I said I wouldn't but these books just caught my eye and I, I just you know book lovers you get it I needed it there was no there was no other reason I just needed it so I got two Colleen Hoover books Verity just did something to me I can't explain it I just needed two more books from her to make sure you know I loved Verity I'm not even gonna lie I love Verity and anyway so I'm not gonna talk about it anymore so I got Without Merit and this is the Voss family is anything but normal they live in a repurposed church newly baptized Dollar Voss the once cancer stricken mother lives in the basement the father is married to the mother's farmer nurse the little half brother isn't allowed to do or eat anything fun and the eldest siblings are irritatingly perfect then there's Merit Merit Voss collects trophies she hasn't earned and secrets her family uh, forces her to keep while browsing the local antiques um, shop for her next trophy she finds Sagan or Sagan his wit and unapologetic idealism disarm and idealist oh my gosh <laughs> idealism disarm and spark renew life into her until she discovers that he's completely unavailable Merit retreats deeper into herself watching her family from the sidelines when she learns a secret that no trophy in the world can fix fed up with the lies Merit decides to shatter the happy family illusion that she's never been a part of before leaving them behind for good. When her escape plan fails, Merit is forced to deal with the staggering consequences of telling the truth and losing the boy, the one boy she loves. Like, this sounds so good, so juicy. I'm excited to get into this. When I read this, like, about the the mother living in the basement and the father's now married to the mother's former nurse i'm like what like oh i i can't wait i can't wait to read this then i got never never and this is um also written by taryn um fisher and it's Charlie Winwood and Silas Nash have been best friends since they could walk they've been in love since the age of 14 but as of but as of this morning, they are complete strangers. Their first kiss, their first fight, the moment they fell in love, every memory has vanished. Now Charlie and Silas must work together to uncover the truth about what happened to them and why. But the more they learn about the couple they used to be, the more they question why they were ever together to begin with. Forgetting is terrifying, but remembering might be worse. I I think I've seen Haley and Bookland um, recommend this. <laughs> I need to read this because I think it was her as well that said about Verity and I'm like I need to get this I'm like I want to read this I want to devour this I mean if it's like Verity I want to know all the ins and outs do you know what I mean so I have only two more books and I promise that's it <laughs> so the next one I got um I got these two books actually in Galway um so I'll show this one first. This is such a stunning cover. Oh my gosh. It was like actually pretty reasonable because I'd seen it online for way more. It's the Cloisters. Hold on, let me go back <laughs> so you guys can see. How stunning. Like, can you see? There's like gold. I like, oh. And it's a floppy paperback. 
if you know you know um it's by Katty or Katie House he's can't even talk if debt was in the cards would you want to know is like the title here and I was like yeah I want to know about this book and I wouldn't mind but it was on my wish list on book depository I like have a whole wish list thing um but it's about this lady who arrives in New York um her name is Anne Stilwell and she spends the summer working in the museum and then she um do 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 She is assigned to the Cloisters, the Metz Gothic um, Museum and Garden, renowned for its collection of medieval and Renaissance art. And basically she finds um, the, what was once believed a 15th century Italian tarot cards deck, right? And finds herself at the centre of dangerous game of toxic friendship and unbridled ambition. And I'm like, oh, this sounds amazing. Because if you don't know, I read Oracle. I have a high fascination in tarot. I don't read tarot for other people. I read it for myself. So I'm like, yes, give me this. Give me the magic. Give me the fantasy. I want to know. I don't know how, like how. I don't think this is very fantasy based. But ooh, it's sultry and sinister. Teams with sexual tension. The secrets of divination. The scholarly obsessiveness. Jaw dropping. Yes, I can't wait to read this. I'm so super excited and yeah, that's all I have to say about that one. Now the next one is really funny because I've seen this book and I passed up this book and I'm like, no, I don't really want to read it. I don't, I don't think I'm going to like it. And then I see loads of other people review it and talk about it and it, it's been really, really popular. It is really popular. It's now, it's either a movie or a TV show. I'm not sure. I don't know why. But anyway, I got it into my head when we were in Galway. I had to get this book. It was as simple as that. I think I tried three or four different bookshops. But I got it. It's Daisy Jones and the Six. Could I have ordered in line? Yes, I could have. Did I want to wait? No, I didn't. It's by uh, Taylor Jenkins Reid. I'm super excited because I've heard the way this is read is more like diary format. Um, and it's based like, yeah, in the late 70s and it's you know rock band i've seen the ad for this it looks amazing um of the again i don't know if it's a tv show or movie show or movie show a movie i wanted to read this before i go and watch this um i actually only paid 10 euros for this it says on the back it's 14 it isn't i only paid a tenner inside eason's so i was delighted to have picked that up so you guys i'm picking up the sticker here apologies that is what I got in March. If you like this video and you kind of like these bits and pieces of like, oh gosh, what I bought or what I made, maybe I can incorporate that as well. Um, let me know in the comments. I just wanted to share it with you guys because it's really exciting. There's some really nice, pretty bits. And to be honest, I got a lot of stuff as well at like reasonable price, except one day that I paid definitely way too much. But helping small businesses, that's where I'm coming from as well you know i'm trying to remind myself you know they're trying to make a living too anyway i hope you have an amazing day wherever you are in the world and i'll chat to y'all real soon